And so, hoping to solve Shrek's problems, our gang moved forward to Fairy Godmother's house, which was known for two things, its pre-war colonial charm and the impossibility of getting inside without an appointment. The only appointments today are Ms. Hood and a package from Jack and Jill's farm. Isn't he supposed to be one of the enemies? Oh, I have an idea. We can intercept that package from the farm. Better yet, we can go to the farm and get the package. Yeah! Better yet, we could just kill that guy and go through the gate. <laughs> Would that not make the most sense? Pumpkins, focus, come to life, cause some strife! Uh, Shrek, do these pumpkins look a little funny to you? Donkey, they're just pumpkins. Donkey, we just seen the fairy godmother uh, bring them to life. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. Interesting, as we're recording this, it's uh, 31st of October, and we're seeing evil pumpkins everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, although the video will be released months after that. The game just makes fun of itself, like it knows it's not following the plot. Oh yeah, one of us has to be Donkey to destroy it. Or, oh, never mind. Seems Puss is able to do it. Puss can do anything. He nearly hit Shrek into the spikes. Uh, Shrek would have been, I don't know what sort of meat you could make an ogre into. I'm expecting to see your man from Wacky Races, Sawtooth. <laughs> Sign says no squirrels. Uh, danger of squirrels. They don't actually do anything. How is Puss supposed to... The laws of physics, when he goes down the seesaw, how is it lift Shrek into the air? Like, <laughs> should the seesaw not still be on Shrek's weight? You saying Shrek's fat? <laughs> he's eight foot tall according to this game. And he's quite a heavy guy as well. And Puss's, Puss's hat is four foot, so I don't understand. What the? <laughs> Junkie's like, what the? Shrek's angry. Shrek's always angry. It's like, if Shrek was an 18 movie, he'd just be beating the crap out of his friends. I was looking at the stats of the characters. Shrek's the most powerful one. He has a very powerful third attack. Puss and Gingerbread Man are weak, but they're quite fast attacks. I think Donkey's uh, Burrow Blast is quite powerful. It's nice the game actually shows you the stats of all the characters. And there, there's actually a difference between them. What do you think of these pumpkins, Mark? They scare me. Do they? Yeah. Is it the eyes that scare you or the big gaunting mouth? Both. Don't want to be touching that. Pretty violent. <laughs> Buzzsaws everywhere. You know violent for a children's game? game? There's a lot of things that are violent. Post playing a football match. Attack! Attack the innocent donkey. <laughs> There's nothing innocent about that donkey. Did Puss just go supersonic speed there? I told you he can do anything. I don't know what part of the movie this is supposed to be. It's not. It's inventive for the game. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> when will you be ready, donkey? Jump! This level's okay. It's a bit easy to get through. They use Puss's gimmick a lot of walking across the tight ropes. I don't know how like chopping a log in half makes the blade go down. The massive logs just disappear into the water. Top of the morning to you. I can tell that you're wanting to get past, but the hinges are a wee bit rusty, don't you know? I'd be willing to part with some of my magic oil, but with the prices these days, it's not going to be cheap. Alrighty then. Let's see what's behind door number two, shall we? I love how gullible they are, they just keep paying him money. <laughs> Could Donkey not have just done his burrow blast to go through? What is in those barrels? There's just uh, snails, pumpkins and short tough men. Not particularly challenging. Don't get on an ogre's bad side! I used to think, I know Shrek's saying don't get an ogre's bad side, but I used to think he was saying don't get on an ogre's backside. <laughs> Is this some sort of sexual thing you were thinking of here? <laughs> I thought that's what he was saying. Don't get on an ogre's backside! <laughs> what the hell are they doing? Are they rapping there or something? I must save the gingerbread man. 
What do you think of this level? Uh, well, it met the hero time segment with Puss climbing up the waterfall. It's the best part. It's probably my favorite part of the game, aside from level 3. But you'd say this level would be quite drab. Yeah. You're just using Donkey's Bro Blast and Puss's uh, tightrope walking. It's not exactly taxing on the, the memory. <laughs> my belly's not a kettle drum. You hit like a pixie. What's going on here? Yeah, I think the button wouldn't work or something. We're gonna have to go across the tightrope again. Ding, 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 ding. You know, oh, did, did somebody hit him into the water? Yeah, I think, I think Shrek body slammed Junji into the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to be careful, Shrek's body slam, because it can send anybody flying. <laughs> 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 uh, Shrek, Shrek's a beast in this game. Yeah, Alex had that three punch. It wasn't a punch, it was a bite. I think this level was designed a bit lazily. It's like, we're just gonna put a few hacksaws, a few uh, pumpkins. Where are we going now? To get the screw. Oh yeah. Maybe Shrek just bounces along as he's carrying it. <laughs> <laughs> like he's, he's dancing to the rhythm of the cog. This level it's like rinse and repeat. You attack enemies, you get the co you get walk across a tight rope, you get the cog, put it in, rinse and repeat. Oh, the troll on the bridge is going to kill me. I don't deserve to die for what I did, eating the troll's tin cans. Aww. Won't you help me? <laughs> Do you feel sorry for me? I'll always remember you guys in my prayers, I promise. Why did he eat metal? I know goats chew on metal, but I don't know if they actually digest it. And like, why would, why would a troll have tin cans? Doesn't make any sense. Yes, yeah, so you have to escort this goat to the end of the level. Oh, he got, it looked like he got hit by a fireball there. He said the troll was going to kill him, but he's at the other end of the map. How's, like, could, could he not have made a getaway into the forest? <laughs> like, he seemed pretty far away to me. To troll my tin cans. <laughs> da -de -de, da -de -da. Golden oh, yeah. That's really violent. You came just in time. I hear a bomb or something. <laughs> How would Donkey know that that would turn it off? Like, would it, there not be a chance that if he hit that, that would make the goat go into the? <laughs> <laughs> the chainsaw. I thought that was like some sort of sex position, like the bondage. Uh -huh. <laughs> some people like that sort of thing, the danger of it all. Uh, help, uh, I'm in trouble. Damn it, why are these guys here? <laughs> I hate fighting these trolls, they're the most annoying people in the, in the game. You have to time it exactly right, or else they'll hit the bomb back at you. And it takes forever. What the, what the hell was that, two bombs? It's funny where the troll, yeah, like you'd expect a troll to attack you, but he just throws bombs at you. What the hell, piss and gingerbread man there? Oh my god, it's coming this. Oh. <laughs> the AI's too stupid to realize the bombs behind it. Oh, he's gonna attack now? Okay. Piss steals his coins when he's not looking. <laughs> Or the coins have come out of his ass. <laughs> come on, Gingy. There we go. Yeah, Gingy's the one to finish him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wizard snaps. Bell wizard's on you guys. Looks like the elevator's stuck. Is it now? An act of well, death defying danger? <laughs> Wet narrow ledges that could lead to a horribly gruesome death? This sounds like a job for a true swashbuckling hero. Puss in Boots, come on down. You're the next contestant on Hero Time. Puss in Boots, meet your hero inevitable time. death. <laughs> Where are cats not supposed to hit water? Like, why is Puss doing this? Because Puss is a brave little kitty cat. Taste the rainbow. I'm expecting now, uh, what do you call that guy? Lucky Charms? Because <laughs> of the rainbow? <laughs> Maybe your Lucky Charms. Fading away, fading away. 
They're after me lucky charms! Reminds me of the fish from the old Sonic the Hedgehog games. Green Hill Zone. I like the funky music in this level. It fits Puss's character perfectly. I don't know what those golden eggs do. Thank god you don't have to tiptoe over those. Else we'll be here forever. Like would it not have been better to design the levels where you're sliding across them instead of tiptoeing? Because you don't actually need any skill when you're tiptoeing. It just adds time. And then he decides not to put the elevator down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just goes, screw the, you guys, and just runs on himself. <laughs> I will be the one to wish with the princess. Hello guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more videos. You can also comment if you want to talk to me or follow me on social media. The social media links are in the description. Bye!